So quick question, everybody's wondering, how do you get these infections? Great question. So a few different ways, depending on what kind of infection it is. Some can be like blastocystis hominis, for example. We see this come up a lot after multiple rounds of antibiotic use. There's some research suggesting this might be a commensal parasite. Commensal meaning it's supposed to be there. It's found in all of us, but it's a problem only when it overgrows. However, there's not conclusive research on that. So nonetheless, one of the factors that we do see pave the way for an infection such as blastocystis is when we don't have enough of the good bugs. Mm -hmm. Right over here. Mm -hmm. If we don't have enough good bacteria to help prime our immune system and maintain our, the appropriate gut environment, then these kinds of infections can overgrow. It's very much like our ecosystem. It really is, it, right? Yeah. It's exactly what it yeah. is. If you have, you take away one thing, mm -hmm. you're going to have an overabundance of the other, mm -hmm. and it, in the, in the, the body balances itself out, or yeah. it can run rampant. Exactly. Like, yeah. So I think it's a yeah. great way to think of it as like the ecosystem. Yeah. So let's move down here. This is let's look at this diversity association. What mm -hmm. does that indicate? So diversity association and relative abundance. I'm going to give an analogy. You can think of the gut microbiome like a city. So both of these are reflective of the microbial diversity and quantity within that, the gut bacteria, those commensal bacteria. So if you think of it like a city, in a city you want to have a lot of different kinds of people. So you have doctors, lawyers, janitors, mechanics, teachers, so all of our, our roles are fulfilled. You also don't want too many people, right? Because if we have too many people, then we have congestion, we have traffic. Same concept here. We want, in an ideal situation, we want a lot of diversity and an appropriate amount of people. Mm -hmm. Couple things that we see commonly are the flip of that. So we have low diversity. Right here. Mm -hmm. And this would be the equivalent of a city having only doctors and lawyers. Okay, well then who's gonna teach our kids? Who's gonna fix our cars? Who's gonna clean and repair our buildings? There's different roles that go unfulfilled. And then in this test in particular, you notice that the patient results, at looking at the bar graph, the patient results are far shorter than the healthy cohort. So in this particular example, we don't have enough. We don't have enough people in the city analogy this case, we don't have enough good bacteria. So a lot of roles are going unfulfilled. And one system that really takes a hit with this is the immune system. So we'll also start to see systemic inflammatory issues, possibly low white blood cells, high white blood cells. And um, we'll start to see issues arise in the entire body, not just within the gut. Um, but nonetheless, the gut also takes a pretty big hit. So this person in particular was suffering from chronic constipation, really bad gas and bloating, and then also brain fog, sleep issues, weight gain. All the things that we see. All the things that we all see the all the that time. We see that we think mm -hmm. might be our normal. Mm -hmm. Everybody experiences them. Right. And it's not. It's not. And this shows us yep. what we need to work on to really fix the root causes to restore long-term health, not just a quick fix solution, right?